Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PLUG. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I did this analysis on Friday, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. And definitely want to get things updated here as you know, I had some questions and such come in on it. And you know, what do I think about the chart? Well, it really does depend. What do I mean by it depends? Well, if you were a day trader and you were looking to sell within seven seconds and you bought right there, well then, yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. If you care about the big picture of things, you know, looking at the overall perspective, then sure, the price did pull back, you know, relative to where it opened. But again, taking a step back, looking at more than just one day, the bulls still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. And assuming that you look at your, or, you know, as obviously that if you care about the big picture, then you care about the long-term uptrend. So therefore, because the bulls can still put in a higher base, you know, the, the long-term uptrend can still be built. So uh, it truly does depend. I'm gonna be talking about things from the big picture perspective. So if I'm talking about something that's bullish and you think I sound crazy, well, my guess would be that you had a, a much different strategy going into uh, you know, the, the, the chart. Uh, now, if you don't even know what strategy we're using, well, take that as a sign, you probably shouldn't be using real money. But a few things to get updated here. The first thing is, even with the big pullback, the price is still up above, you know, both of the, the long-term uh, moving averages. And even if you have just a surface deep understanding uh, of, of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period simple moving average, which is represented by that pink line. And then the 50 period simple moving average, which is represented by that purple line. And like I said, Price is still well below, or what, excuse me, well above both of them. So from that perspective, I mean, the bulls are still firing on all cylinders. Even with the, the deeper pullback, price still has plenty of cushion above both those moving averages. And really going forward, now as I talked about in, in the past videos, easiest way to look at this, and you know, a very simplistic way to look at it, is that purple line, the 50 period simple moving average. Meaning as long as the price is up above that purple line, bulls are in full control, bulls are in full health, no questions asked. Now, what about levels of resistance? Well, the first one that I've talked about in the past, still in play, that's the red line right there, valued at $1.23. Although another kind of shorter term one seems to have arisen uh, more recently, and that level is right here, and seems to have formed more so kind of throughout the course of the day. Uh, random, but it seems uh, at $1.12, whenever the price got right around that area, uh, you know, the bulls just couldn't quite push above it. So, I mean, if you look back, through the history of the chart, you can see multiple occasions. You know, this morning tried to get through it, couldn't quite do it. This afternoon couldn't quite do it. So, dollar twelve is going to be that that first initial area of resistance, and then the next key one after that up there at a dollar twenty three. So, all in all, not the best day individually, but long term chart still has plenty of opportunity to build an uptrend. One of the most popular questions I get is, "Hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade?" So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.